Katie, I hope you're having a nice day. So I'm here today to show you our newest uh, PDF release, which is our Ava skirt. Hi Pops. Let's get up on the table again. No, get... no. don't have this wet floor and I don't want her walking on the skirts. Where are you going to sit? Sit down. Sit. Sit down. Sit Poppy. Hmm. Sit. Lie down. Lie down. Right, you stay there. So, we've got two lengths of the Ava skirt. We've got this length. I'll put a photo in so you can see it on. And then we've got this length. And I'm also wearing one. Because you can't really see if I jump up. <laughs> you can't really see it, can you? It's wool, um, they're really nice, kind of tweedy wool. Um, and it's lined so that it um, doesn't stick to your tights. But yeah, very nice. So I thought it'd be worth just talking through this pattern because if you're new to dressmaking, this is the best first thing to start with. And we get asked that a lot, that what pattern should I do first? And this is what we teach in our intro to dressmaking. So if you're new to dressmaking, this is the best first project you can do. Something really simple, nothing too overly fitted, but you also then end up with a really lovely project in the end. If you're not new to dressmaking, then like the rest of the server team, I'm sure you'll love this pattern because it's super quick to make and very versatile. So I've got them in um, wool and also in denim, um, but I really want to make one in cord. I think that'd be really nice this time of year. Um, and then I really like the longer lengths, particularly in the summer. Um, and this is like a linen fabric. And then that one is a chambray. So um, very, very versatile on your fabrics. If you are new to sewing um, and you're a bit unsure about fabrics, I'd stick to things that aren't too um, light. So something like cotton lawn is going to be too thin for this kind of project. You want to choose a cotton that's got enough structure to it that it's not too thin and not too see-through. So a lightweight cotton, but something more um, along the kind of almost quilting cotton weight rather than a cotton lawn. Um, and then denim is great, uh, corduroy, Anything that's got sort of stability. You don't want to do anything drapey like rayon or crepe. They're going to not work. It needs to have a certain amount of structure to it. Um, so yeah, stay clear of anything that's too uh, floppy and drapey. So just to explain the sort of features on here, we have got front darts here. Move out the way, Poppy. Uh, so there's front darts and there's also back darts. Now those darts are in there to help you fit it so that it fits into the waist. And this is meant to be wasted, so it's meant to sit on your natural waist here, and it's a straight waistband. If you ever see a waistband that's shaped, it's usually because it needs to sit lower below the waist, but a straight waistband has to sit on the waist. So a nice straight waistband, it finishes with a skirt hook at the back. Um, oh, actually this one, this doesn't. That's not a good example. Um, none of these have got a skirt hook on, that's really annoying. Well, they should have a skirt hook on, um, which is just a metal hook that kind of um, hooks up like that, um, so that they overlap like that. If you are um, an experienced dressmaker, you might want to do what I've done here, which is just do a concealed zip all the way up the back into the waistband. But if you're new to sewing, you want to do a regular zip like we've got here. So that's essentially a lined regular zip down the centre back. Um, and we've got a really nifty technique of inserting it, which is what we teach all our beginners. Um, where you actually have the seam closed, put the zip in and then you unpick that section of the seam where the zip is and that way you get the fabric meeting perfectly. So we explain that technique in the instructions. Uh, the shape of the skirt is actually, it's not really A-line, it looks a bit like it's A-line because of the way it comes in at the top but it's more straight, um, it's very very slightly A-lined um, and then the shorter one is just very slightly A-lined. Um, so I think this one almost looks straighter. Um, we did want to flare this out a little bit because we didn't want it to be too tight because there isn't a slit in the back. So we needed to make sure there's enough room for you to walk in it comfortably. Um, there's also pockets. So if you want to have a go at pockets, it's got inseam pockets as well. So you might want to not worry about those if it's the first time you're making a skirt, but in the second time you might want to make them. And that's just a really nice feature. I know everyone always says they love pockets. Pockets, pockets, pockets. 
and also that pocket pattern you could then use for other patterns because it's just a basic inseam pocket bag you can then apply that to any other side seam so other dresses and skirts you could use that um, pocket pattern so the technique as well would apply what else can I show you yes hems so the hem is quite a wide hem you can see there it's I don't know if you can see it's machine stitch there if you're using a fabric though like mine which is wool you'd want to hand stitch that because it wouldn't look nice to top stitch on a wool and this one has been hand stitched as well so you can't see the stitching so that finish I think is really nice you need to see inside there um, so yeah that is the Ava skirt now what I'd hope to do for this week but unfortunately with everything going on with the house um, and the fact that I can't sew at home I haven't been able to but I really want to make one in leather because I think that would be really cute um, very wearable at this time of year and I've actually never made anything out of leather that's a garment I've made bags before but I haven't made a garment so I really want to challenge myself and I thought that would be a really interesting video for you guys as well so I am going to try and do that but I don't know when I'll get around to it but hopefully this side of Christmas um, and then I can tell you what I've learned and um, so if you want to have a go at making this pattern out of leather you can yeah pick up some tips from me so yeah, I really want to do it in leather, I'm loving it in wool. I've also got it in like a brocadey for more of like a party vibe. Um, we've got this lovely fabric. Let me go see if I can find it. Lucy, where's that fabric of yours? Oh, it's down the front. Yeah, it should, well it was down there. Oh yeah. is now sat in the way. Move Poppy. Um, so this fabric is gorgeous and um, um, Rosie has got one in this um, as have I and I think it looks fab. It makes this skirt look really expensive and also really nice for a kind of, bit of an evening look. So yeah lots of options and definitely something you can kind of make in various different fabrics and it will look completely different. Um, and then you've got the two lengths so that if you want to have a short skirt you can or if you want a longer one you can and it will also get you through all seasons. So a very versatile pattern to have in your collection. Anyway guys it's just a short but sweet video um, for this week. Uh, next week I'm not sure if I will have a video because I don't think I'll have done my leather skirt but the week after I will be showing you my makes for um, November. So I will see you then. Have a lovely week. Bye. Bye.